What wisdom do you have to pick a spouse for your life? That is the question that I ask myself and that I really ask young women. I encourage young women to never date in isolation because when the only male voice you hear is the one that's trying to win your heart over, your heart will be easily swayed. It will be easily, it can be easily manipulated. It can be easily um, penetrated. It It's an easy grab because the average woman looks to a man because of his authority, his position in the earth. And so when you are dated in isolation, you don't realize how much of a danger your heart is in. Any man that is trying to come after you, to persuade you, to woo you, to, to win you, whether it be a good man or a bad man, they need someone else to be held accountable to so they know that, hey, this is not mine. This woman is not mine. I need to handle with care. I need, I need to to operate in integrity and no person this is why we have families fathers mothers bosses like you need to be held accountable you need to be checked you need to be told uh, -uh that ain't right uh, like you know what i'm saying and so to every young woman what wisdom do you have to pick a spouse for your life get into some good counsel this is why i really encourage for the average christian woman don't date and you're not a part of community and you're not a part of um, you don't have your wisdom involved, preferably a father. But if you're not in a church home to where other people can get into your life, to where other just for even safety reasons, so people can know where you are at, you need someone to submit your dating life to. Point blank, period. Because a woman, we don't have all the information. We don't know how men are wired. We don't know... I give an example of meeting at a certain point, a certain place. A woman and a man are wired differently. And so you would get to a certain point or a certain destination from different locations. And so we, we process things differently. And you always want to make sure that you are in, you are dating or you are continuing to date a, a protector and not a predator, not someone who's coming in just to get what they want and to bounce, or even someone who may have really good intentions, but not God intentions. Like we, we don't, we're not called to live average human lives. We are called to live spiritual lives as believers. And so you don't want to settle anywhere in between. You need to date in community. You need to date with wisdom. I love the example y'all it's so hot i love the example of abraham looking for his a wife for his uh, son isaac he he asked his the manager of his estate is what i like to call it um and to to peep out a woman for his son he his son didn't date in isolation like he had wisdom he has why he had wise people in his circle to help him pick out a spouse for his life you got to remember your life People say, you know, outside of accepting Jesus Christ, the next most important decision is who you marry because who you marry, who you yoke yourself with really determines if you fulfill your calling on your life. If you fulfill the God-given assignment, they need to be in alignment with your assignment. You understand what I'm saying? And so you don't, dating, it, it may seem so, ooh, he cute and just so lovey-dovey, you're in the air, but this is really a, a time of warring, a time of, of true discernment. You gotta be so sober-minded. This, forget the movies, forget what you heard. It's not about if I feel good, but it's about can this person cover me for a lifetime? Can this person usher me into the presence of God or pray for me? Does he have God's heart for me? Does he repent? Does he, when he messes up, does he turn back to the Father? Or will he mess me over? You know what I'm saying? You want to be protected. You want to choose someone who's going to protect you, protect your spirit. Because if he protects your spirit, he protects your soul and your body. You understand what I'm saying? So don't date in isolation. If you don't have, I ask that question, what wisdom do you have? Because the average young woman doesn't have enough wisdom to pick a man for her life. That's why she needs a father. That's why she needs another wise man as counsel. She needs a squad, men and women, but another wise man as counsel. So if you are not in the body of Christ, if you're not submitted to counsel, don't date right now. Because I guarantee you, you will date wrong. Now I can say this. I'm old enough 
to where I've seen in my life and in women's lives around me. Y'all, it's hot in this car. But I'm old enough to see our dating mishaps to where people have gotten married and then 17 years later, it's, a, it's, a, it's done. I'm like, what the heck? Because we dated, here's the thing, however you start is really how it's gonna how it's gonna flow and really how it's gonna end. You dated in isolation. We we chose we be choosing wrong. You know you understand what I'm saying? I don't know people are people. People are flawed. People gonna make mistakes. But there is just some things that are non-negotiable, like your relation, like do you even have the Holy Spirit and are you submitted to the Holy Spirit? That's non-negotiable. Like, so be encouraged. Don't date in isolation. Get you some wisdom. Get you another, a wise man, pastor, a father, a community, a brother, somebody. But don't you dare date in isolation. Peace.